best food plot ever. <laughs> Okay, that's a pretty tall order there. I'm not sure it was necessarily the best food plot ever. I don't know what would qualify as the best food plot ever, but I can tell you that probably my most impressive, most successful food plot to me at least that I ever planted was last year's uh, honey hole that I planted. I had a great success with that. I had never grown anything quite that impressive to me. I grew turnips the size of softballs. I couldn't believe it, the amount of food that one bag of this seed actually produced under ideal conditions. I'd done a soil test, done the lime properly, uh, gone through and fertilized it as well, and I fertilized it periodically with Jolt Fertilizer from Antler King as well. Once a week I was hitting the entire food plot, walking the entire food plot and hitting it with that. So what is in Antler King's Honey Hole? Honey Hole is comprised of three different blends of rape seeds. It's got the Trophy Rape, Dwarf Essex Rape, and Winifred Rape. It also has two types of turnips, Purple Top Turnips and Seven Top Turnips. Uh, that's a pretty neat blend of seed and as far as a late season seed after the frost, and I'm talking from the frost on, it is a killer food plot seed. They like this in cold weather and it packs a lot of carbohydrates that deer will like. I would not try this as a spring food plot by any stretch of the imagination. I'm always kind of surprised when I hear people talk about putting in turnips during the summer. That doesn't make an awful lot of sense to me unless there's just not a lot of other food in the area. The deer tend to, during the summer months, like the lower carbohydrate foods, at least in my experience and from what I've read. And the reason for that is, is that they have heavy fur coats and they're very warm to begin with. And if they eat a lot of carbohydrates, it tends to up their body temperature. That's why they like that during the winter though, helps them stay warm. So keep that in mind. To me, Honey Hole is a great seed blend for your late season plots. And I'm talking about here in northeastern Pennsylvania from the first frost in the middle of October, sometimes as early as the middle of October, onward. I planted this last year. The deer started eating the top sometime in November, uh, but I still had tops there, lots of greens on a half acre honey hole food plot that I put in. Uh, I still had the greens all the way through till the middle of December. It wasn't until late December and in January when they started digging up the turnips and actually eating the bulbs. We're getting ready to, at the end of July, first part of August, that's when you're going to want to plant this. Turnips, for them to fully mature, they take up to 90 days, so you want to count back from your first frost. Give it about 90 days, 60 to 90 days for this type of a seed to mature, but you're going to want to make sure you do your soil test, prepare your soil properly, follow the instructions the Antler King gives you, and you can't go wrong. What I did in my case was I went through, limed it properly, went through and did all of my tilling and rototilled the whole area. Then I put in the honey hole mixture, the seed right on the top, and packed it in good. This is a smaller seed, doesn't want to be buried, wants to lay right on top of the soil after you've prepared it. However, the difference is that here you're growing turnips and you're growing a root crop, okay? These root crops that are growing down into the soil, they do appreciate having that soil pre-worked for them. Makes it a lot easier for those bulbs to grow down in instead of getting pressed up in the air. You want as much of that bulb to be able to bury itself and grow down into the ground as far as possible. It helps it reach more moisture, keeps those roots down in there. And it does a great job of breaking up your soil for future plantings in the future. It's a lot easier to go through and rototill a food plot that's had a crop of honey hole growing in it because the next year that soil's already busted up with all those turnip bulbs. Plus, late in the season, the deer dig them out of the frosted ground, eat those turnip bulbs, turf up the ground for you even more. One of the guys that I talked to here on YouTube and on Facebook uh, commented about how when he got done with his crop of it, it looked like a cow pasture, almost, and it did. It looked like a fenced-in cow pasture. Just basically the ground was just completely turfed up. That was a great place to go through and frost seed your clover seed in the spring. I ended up with a great clover plot down there. I'm very happy with it. Honey hole is going to take all the nitrogen out of the ground. It's going to use the, the nitrogen fertilizer, but when you rotate that with clover, clover's putting the nitrogen back into the soil, so it's sort of doing some of the work for you. 
Uh, plus, Honey Hole just prepares the soil so nicely for future crops, you can't beat it. The one downside of Honey Hole is, is that after the soil, uh, after they've eaten all of the turnips, after they've dug up all the bulbs and eaten all of those turnip bulbs, you're left with bare soil. And if you get a really, really wet spring without something growing on there, it's there's a good chance that you're going to end up with a lot of that soil running off, and you don't really want that. So. To, to, what I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to try and plant this on flatter soil instead of that was a kind of a dip where I planted it last year. It was kind of a, the, the field kind of drops off as it goes down there. Grew great, but I want to avoid that risk of, of soil erosion. You don't want to have that. The other thing you could do is right like the last 30 days, let's say, before the frost, get some... Uh, either rye grass, cereal rye, maybe some oats or something on that soil. Broadcast that in there with this stuff as well, and hopefully some of that would take root and maybe hold the soil a little bit better as well. That's just one of the things I thought about. I think on this year's planting, I'm gonna try and do that. To see how that works, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you like our Facebook page if you haven't done so already. I like putting a lot of uh, food plot stuff on the Facebook page. A lot of neat people on there. We talk about that. We talk about stuff like the, uh, the trail camera pictures and stuff like that as well. It's a great thing that Facebook page is, in my opinion, really enjoying it. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube for future videos and updates here as well. And until next time, all hail Bungie! Bungie.